Yep. Yep. About time. About time. It is. It is the Danny Duncan build time, man. I'm excited for this one. This is going to be a fun one. Unfortunately, she's a little bit rough right now, but today starts the day when it starts to go the right direction. So we've done a little bit of work off camera. We got it on a set of uh, donor tires and wheels just for rollers right now. Uh, the shocks are off it. We threw some struts in there because the shocks are out the shock therapy getting a real big dog set up on them. We know Danny likes to jump a little bit, so we're going to get this thing right for jumping. And uh, yeah, other than that, it's just time to strip all the stuff off this thing. We're not going to use, we're going to clean it up. We're going to start repairing <laughs> all yeah. of the uh, the foul play that in the, that's in the front end, which is there, there's quite a bit of it. So we got a whole pile of uh, new OEM parts over there. So we can place these radiators and fans and all these brackets that are bent. We got new body panels that are going to go on it. And uh, yeah, she's going to be fresh. So we're going to get as far as we can today. Then this bad boy is going to go over for a custom wrap. And then when it comes back, there's going to be a whole slew of real sweet parts going on. It. So yeah, just time to get this thing right now more right, <laughs> less wrecked. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you there. So we've been collecting boxes forever, like Doug's been saying. We got a whole pile of stuff here, and we still are missing a lot of the key players in terms of parts, but we gotta get this thing to wrap, and today's the day to do it. Yep. So that's gonna take a little time, and in the meantime, we got a bunch of work that's gonna happen, so when the sucker comes back, it's gonna get a lot of <laughs> real be, nice stuff. It's gonna be a real a nice Pro real XP. Nice stuff. Yeah, so, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna start tearing junk off this thing, wash her up, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, brother. Four to six days later. Well, boys, don't be silly. Just call Billy. He's in the, uh, I don't know, saga of the Danny Duncan machine. We're hitting another milestone point. This is a pretty big one, I feel like. I mean, this is the first thing you're going to see when you see the machine. So, sort of a big deal. Right. Yeah, pretty cool, man. She's starting to look like something. So, we brought it over here. Local company. They moved in a couple of months ago. Brothers Designs. They're helping us out with the wrap on this thing. It's going to get some real sweet graphics. So it's all going to be custom. So we're bringing it over to them now while we're waiting on just a boatload of parts to completely redo everything else on the machine. But we got the body, you know, all put together. So cool. They're going to start doing some cool stuff with it. Yeah, and it looks so good as is. I'm yeah, so excited to see where it's going to go. Like these Polaris doors, they're not really super popular for the Pro, but. They just look great. That's almost a shame, <laughs> is what that is. Those are so freaking yeah. cool. Those are good doors. Yeah. yeah. Well, all the body, body lines, like, they look tough, dude. I guess we'll go in and see what they got for us. Let's do it. It's the biggest iPad I've ever yeah. seen. It's almost as big as your new iPad, dude. <laughs> look at this. we got all sorts of stuff, man. <laughs> this is the place, though, man. Very cool. They do all sorts of stuff here. Look at the list on the wall. I don't even want to try yeah, to name them because there's too many. I'll too many miss, things. I'll miss everything. And so. your face on the wall as well. <laughs> nice little touch. But anyway. <laughs> Heck yeah. So uh, we got the old Danny Duncan razor pulled in the shop over there. We've been tossing around some ideas. I don't think we want to give that away yet. No. But uh, it's going to be very, very cool. Very, very cool. Real Let's excited. go check that room out though. Yep. That room's tight. Boom. Boom. Look at the lighting. Why can't our shop be lit this good? I mean, yeah, we, just we actually pro. do video. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> pro in here. Yeah. yeah, that looks really good. Uh, so yeah, this is it. You guys have seen this come off the trailer a minute ago, but yeah. And you guys, uh, you know, obviously the blue suspension's going away. We're not going to give them Nixus's old wheels with the red hubs. Lots of things are going away. We'll probably put real shocks back in it, get rid of the metal struts, you know. But uh, <laughs> no, these are safe, man. Uh, so yeah, just I can't say it enough. Got some real cool ideas for this thing. It's going to be very unique. Very unique. It's not going to be like anything we've done in the past in right. terms of styling. So I think he's really going to enjoy it. Yeah, heck yeah. Glad to have these guys here, man. How'd this work out? How'd we meet him? Anyway, is it something through you? How'd I meet these? Yeah, dude. Here? How'd that happen? Oh, that fine boy in the corner there, I've known since he was a little boy. Oh, dang. Okay. <laughs> he says to me, hey, dude, I work for a real cool guy. I go, really? I go, I'll come check these guys out. And that was it. <laughs> Simple enough. It's a long story. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only a block away. And it turns out, yeah, we're literally, my actual store is a mile away. Our shop is a mile away. Nick, we're going to be lifetime friends now, dude. See, now it's in golf. For life, dude. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Locked in. We need to upgrade our lighting game. Look at how good this Seriously. looks over here. Just yep. look, look at that. Oh my gosh. Everything's incredible. There's Might, no shadows. We just got to bring all our stuff over here and take pictures. <laughs> Seriously. Make people think it's actually nice. Well, I guess uh, next time we see this thing, she's going to be wrapped. Yep, she's going to be looking cool. Things are escalating here.
This is a heck of a machine. This it's is... been so long since we updated you guys. That last clip was from seemingly months ago. I don't know what clip you're talking about. But... Where we dropped it off. Oh yeah, it's been a long time. It's been worth it though, seeing this finished product. Getting to pull it out of the shop for the first time, everything done. Seeing it outside is gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah. Mean, this is, looking at it in here, I mean, this is one of, if not the, my favorite builds we've done. Like, just super clean, not over the top, very functional. I think you guys are gonna really like it. <laughs> yeah, this thing's crazy, so I guess just fire her up, Rich. Big, big stuff, finally completed. You guys have been asking us about this machine forever, and we just haven't been able to show it to you because it's a surprise for Danny, but. Here she is. This thing is so I'm awesome. Honestly, so proud of how this thing turned out. Yeah. I'm so happy. Rich was just saying, it's probably the favorite build ever. How yeah. is he not hitting that? Unbelievable. I, I thought for sure that was going to come right up into that wheel and just bash it. <laughs> this, is, this is the best car we've, I think we've ever built. I think so. Car. Oh, look at the dust. What a premium moment to bring the car out. Oh my gosh. What a DD. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> How many times are we going to do that? That's the zip tie on the flag. Okay, no big deal. Oh man. Woo. Oh yeah. Oh. I didn't know we had launch control on this thing. Jeez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Let's do a little walk around, Rich. Talk about the car a little bit. What do you think, buddy? I mean, this thing has the nicest stuff from the best companies out there. So, you saw the machine before. Blue theme, got rid of all that. Gone. The black and yellow theme, that's what Danny wanted to go with. So we put OEM Polaris uh, suspension components on there, the arms yep, all to black. replace the blue ones. Those are super tough, so those are gonna be just fine for Danny. Uh, shocks, sent the shocks out to Shock Therapy. They revalve them. Put their springs on there did like a short course style setup on there for danny he's going to be doing some crazy things like this so that should be a nice package for him we've got the hostile wheels on here the h316s those are looking super tough big fan of those wheels got the itp tear hooks of course our favorite tire super nice moving up to the top we've got the brick city fab cage oh my gosh you no know we like those guys they do awesome product uh I don't think I've seen a cage that has completely transformed a machine quite like this one. Like no. this Pro XP cage, yep. it just, I mean, cages <laughs> make machines look different, but not like this one. Like this is wild. Yeah, this transformed the car from like a pretty sweet machine to like a race machine. And that's sort of what inspired some of the logos here. So it took a little bit of a creative, whatever you want to call it. Uh, idea and just made Danny Duncan racing whole new brand yeah yeah why not man it's cool it looks like a race car so Danny Duncan racing there it is yeah just <laughs> there's so many things on this car to go over like this but so you see the wrap right we started off with brand new Polaris uh, black plastics yeah you can see from the inside of the doors here it's all all black all the way around this is actually an aluminum door but yeah, brand new like panels all the way around aluminum everything doors Went with a matte black wrap that actually, if you look closely, is not just matte black, but it's got his logos ghosted in it. So when the sun hits this thing, you'll actually see some of his logos and sayings in the black. Yeah, you can see like, man, it's so hard to see on camera. Hopefully that shows up, but there's his face there, Virginity Rocks there, 69 there, the whole deal. Like this started off as a white wrap that was printed black with these logos ghosted into it. I don't particularly understand how that worked, but brothers knocked it out of the park on the design. They so. made it work. It looks super cool. So I don't know, where do we go from here? A little more suspension stuff. So like Rick mentioned, got the shocks done, got all brand new arms on it. We got S3 radius rods on this bad boy with yep. giant three quarter heims. Just huge. huge, massive, tough stuff. So big thanks to S3 for the radius rods and also got one of their pull plates on the back. Yep, yeah, awesome there. So you can pull this thing out easy. So what we kind of did was tried to keep the shininess to the bottom so you have like everything from the muffler down has got some shine factor to it so obviously the stainless evo muffler you got the aluminum stuff here you got the hostile wheels that have like the aluminum windows uh milled into them and like all the shininess is all below and it's just so hardcore looking like yeah i mean it really uh big time it just is very aggressive looking i mean it's a intimidating looking machine uh the custom 
uh, number plates on the back, like the way those tie in with the cage, just yeah. how it flows. I mean, so it cool. looks super good. Our friend uh, over at GMS, Steve there, got uh, got us dialed in with those. Yeah, these super things are, nice. these were the bane of my existence for a long time. So these were just two <laughs> plates. I did like a truck bed coating on them and a yellow that doesn't really match the car, tough brake, riveted them all together and then spent like 7,000 hours trying to figure out a good bracket to hold it on. But they're on, they're hardcore. Steve did a great job. Got a little water jet video that I'll show you. Just <laughs> so much stuff went into this. So of course you guys saw it's got the Evo muffler on it, the Magnum muffler. We love those systems. We run them on basically everything. It's got the Evo tuning in it, right, for the big power. It's got the clutching in it. It's got the launch control. All the stuff we love to do to make these things rip. So, you know, it's going to have a lot more power on tap when he gets this thing back. I think it's going to surprise him. Yeah, and also you might have heard when Rick started the machine up, my phone automatically connected to the uh, brand new Rockford Fosgate. This is like the Polaris Stage 4. Uh, kit in here. So thanks to Polaris for that. It comes with the front speakers, the tweeters, the six and a half out back, and then a 10 inch 400 watt powered sub under the uh, glove box area here. And this thing straight pounds, dude. She hits hard. Like It's honestly pretty clean. Real hard. Matt did a great job tuning in. Big audio guy over there and uh, taught me some things I didn't know about audio. So super happy about that. He's got her dialed. He's got her dialed. And what else, man? Uh, the Sparco steering wheel. This is something that we just bought because uh, you can't have a stock steering wheel on a machine like this. So this isn't a one that has active suspension or any volume control on the wheel. So just a clean, lightweight Sparco is what we went with on that. Tech, yeah, brother. So, you know, probably seen the seats already. It's not a build if you don't have a real nice set of seats in it. Yeah. Not that we hate the stock seats, <laughs> but you can't touch these. So for yeah. a new set of custom Simpson Pro Sport seats, yep. just again, this is stuff we run all the time. Absolutely love these seats. They make the car feel so much better. And, <laughs> and they killed it on the logo. They even did white stitching for his teeth. Like how yeah, good does genius. that look? So got the matching yellow with the suede here that matches the steering wheel. So awesome. But when you get in the car, it's not just that. You see some other stuff going on. You see like a little CB radio deal here. So. Uh, <laughs> bought pretty much. I don't know what is this thing called. What is this like a? Like a, it's like a PA system. Like yeah, like PA. Yeah, basically, yeah. So I think it has to be. All right, are we good here? Oh yeah, we got that. <laughs> and we got a siren. <laughs> Someone's getting in trouble for sure. I mean, we know Danny loves to just uh, run around getting into trouble. So figured he should have that. He can grab the mic and talk over the PA, and that thing is. Give me your best Rockwood. Rockwood, Leo, go give me some McDonald's. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> so that thing is super duper loud so a lot of electronics between the pa system and the lights you know we threw a light bar on the yep, front we've also dog. got the 5150 whips on it we've got big dogs 50 rock lights on it so when it's dark this thing looks super cool and uh you know considering all the electronics we went ahead and threw a second battery kit in it so it's actually got dual batteries so he can run all this stuff and not uh drain it down and leave him stranded yeah super happy about that and it's got a horn which is oh, cool yeah. <laughs> that is so loud like I don't even want to touch that very long all right so we'll turn this off and all this stuff works with the car in the off position so you can kind of play around the dual 30 amp hour batteries you're gonna be good for a long time <laughs> yeah it's got dual basically air horns and it's small mini air horns packaged up front yeah you can like see a, 130 decibels so <laughs> yeah. the two air horns right there and then down here was uh, the speaker for the PA system. So <laughs> Yeah, good positioning on that stuff. So it all just projects forward. And then Steve again from GMS came through and just did some fun stuff. So it's a little Danny Duncan face in the grill here. Like, you know, no one's going to have that. And then, of course, Tyler came in from uh, Brothers and did like a nice little yellow stripe here. We didn't know about it, but once you get the car together, you pretty much have to have the yellow stripe. It makes sense. These guys know what they're doing. This thing just turned out so good so happy man i think he's gonna be super duper excited i can't wait to get it back to him he hasn't seen this at all so he knows the color scheme because he wanted you know the black and yellow but beyond that he has no idea what's going on with this machine yeah this is crazy so between the cage being chopped like four inches and the bigger tire like this thing is way way shorter and the humongous suspension the badass wheels like everything came together to make probably my favorite build we've ever done yeah, it's uh, <laughs> me too, man. Me too. I'm just super impressed that I love like the fun little touches. 
the yeah. PA system and those air horns are just, we've been playing with those things, blowing everybody's ears out for yeah. a week at this point. Yep. It's the best. I want all our cars to have PA systems on now. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to take some cues from this. Uh, so. so, man, yeah, I don't know. At this point, basically, we're going to load it on either the Wedge or Rick's, or, or not Rick's. Why am I, I calling mean, that Rick's, dude? The three place. I think we're probably missing a couple of touches yet. Did they see the underside oh of the Oh my roof? gosh, no. Nope. Also, then there's one more thing that. No, we didn't see this at all. <laughs> all right, so, okay, well, starting here on the top, Giant Day, Duncan Face, you gotta have that. But if you guys watch Danny Duncan, you'll know a character named Papa Jim. So <laughs> I went through and got all the great Papa Jim quotes that I could think of and uh, sent them over to Tyler at Brothers, and he made this awesome rap for the roof that just has all the funniest stuff, right? <laughs> like everything that you love that Papa Jim's ever said, this is it. I'm not going to waste a Coke like that. Genius. <laughs> Great quotes. <laughs> Things to live by. If you're ever confused in life, you don't know what to do with yourself. You just sit in this car and look up and yeah. straighten your right out. And you're not wrong. So, man, there's one more thing. Is Rich going to get Rich, that? Yeah, Rich went. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rich, just walk up there and put it on. We haven't seen it yet. <laughs> this is next level. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are so big, well, dude. It true Danny Duncan style, man. He loves he loves the steer horns. So you gotta give him some steer horns. They're like five and a half feet wide. I've, I've been ridiculous. impaled by them almost at least six times walking by this thing. <laughs> yeah, like these are sharp too. They're polished and got like a clear coat on them. And so we just did a little like flag mount up front like we run for Silver Lake here. But instead of that, we're just running these giant steer horns. <laughs> Those are so wide. They're uh, almost as wide as they're maybe as wide as the car. Basically as wide as the car. Straight up, it looks like a huge mustache. Uh, <laughs> I freaking love it. Wow, insane. Yeah, super happy with the way this thing turned out. I know you guys have been asking a lot. The reason we didn't cover it in more detail along the way again is because it's a surprise for them. So I know it's a little different, so you didn't get to see it go together piece by piece, but you know, we sure <laughs> enjoyed this build. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. We're super happy with it. I think he's gonna be pumped. Yeah, so I'm not really sure how the video coverage is gonna work in terms of his video and our video and anything like that, but Basically, what you see is what you're getting here. And a uh, huge thanks for the opportunity for us to be able to do stuff like this. So we wouldn't have met Danny Duncan if it wasn't for hooking up with Garrett. We wouldn't have hooked up with Garrett if it wasn't for you guys watching these videos. And we wouldn't be even out here doing anything Absolutely. if it wasn't for people enjoying us. This so. stuff is so cool because it gives you a chance to be creative, you know, and take yep. somebody's personality and just kind of spin it into a machine and do some fun stuff. Like this is, I think, one of my favorite things to do. Yep, so. this is awesome. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna take it for a short little rip, maybe grab a couple pictures of it put it on the trailer and uh, drive to Florida. Yep. Ready for that? Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. Full <laughs> hey, you took one for the team, man. I appreciate you. <laughs>